Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video of mine. Today I'm filming a Princess Polly haul and she's a color girl now. I'm not saying I'll never wear neutrals again because that will always have my heart, but I'm trying to, you know, slide in some colors here and there for the spring and the summer because I'm just really vibing with especially greens, but just like colors that make my skin tone pop and I don't know, I'm just really loving it. So I have a lot of colorful pieces to share with you guys in this haul. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I do have a discount code so if you see anything in this haul, I will link everything down below as well as my discount code in the description box. Princess Polly ships from within the United States and there's free express shipping to the US on orders over $50. Princess Polly also offers shop pay and after pay to all US customers. Let's get into the haul so I can show you guys everything I'm gonna be wearing over the spring and summer. First off, we have to start with this dress because I think it is honestly one of the most flattering dresses I've ever put on my body. Something about like how it cinches in at the waist right here but then flows out right here. Then it has these puffy sleeves which I said in my grad dress video that puffy sleeves are definitely gonna be a trend throughout like the spring and summer and I'm literally seeing them everywhere which I'm not mad about because I think they're beautiful. If you've been following along for a while, I've been sticking to neutral and try not to buy a lot of color just because I feel like color is harder to re-wear and I wanted more of like a capsule collection, more of like a basics, but I feel like this one was too pretty to pass up on and I did get a lot of color in this haul just because I feel like that is the vibe for spring and summer and I don't think I mentioned this in the intro, but I'm going to Italy and I think I'll be in Italy when you guys are watching this video. So if you guys are not already following me on Instagram, do it because the content is about to be insanely incredible over there. It is so underscore gnarly and I'm also going to be posting on my TikTok which is also so underscore gnarly. I just feel like I imagine myself walking through an Italian garden in this beautiful dress. Oh my god, I've always wanted a blazer dress just like this, but this is kind of an issue right here because I think there's only two buttons. Like I'm pretty sure you're supposed to wear Spanx under it, which I can totally do. Um, don't have any on right now, so I'm just like trying to like hide it. But basically there's like two buttons right here and then I wish there was like a third one just, you know, to close this up a little bit. But like how freaking flattering is this? And it's not like super like bulky. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for like a dinner at night because it's going to be a little bit chillier um on the trip so it's long sleeve i wanted some long sleeves but i didn't want to get too many because you know we're going into spring and summer over here so that wouldn't have made sense but i feel like this can definitely be worn still in like the spring and summer because obviously it's a dress it's a little breezy down there oh my gosh this with heels i love it and also i plan to do like a branding shoot hopefully in the spring and summer and i'm 100 percent gonna wear this Imagine me, computer in hand, phone in hand. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Here's the next dress and it's very up to date on the trends because it has this little corset right here and then it also has kind of those like puffy sleeves. Well, I guess it's not really puffy sleeves because it would be more puffy up here, but balloon sleeves, I guess. And I think this dress is so flattering. Obviously it cinches you in at the waist. And then what I love about this one is that it has like this little cami right here since it has the cowl neck. I've had a lot of bodysuits and a couple of dresses and tops that have this like satin cowl neck. And I feel like I'm always trying to pull it up because I don't want it to show too much. But this dress actually has like this little cami underneath, which is so nice. So you don't have to like really worry about that. Up next, we have this white mini dress. And this one actually has a different texture than most. I feel like it definitely looks a little bit more unique and it has these little lettuce ruffles. Why did I just call it that? Is that what they're called? I don't know what they're called, but it definitely adds a unique touch to it. It's kind of like that baby doll style almost because it has this little bow and we love the adjustable straps. Thank God for that. This dress is so comfortable and I feel like it's gonna be perfect for those nights where I obviously want to look good because we're in a foreign country, but I don't really want to dress up because I'm pooped from the day. This is just gonna be perfect because you literally just have to like throw it on, add some cute shoes, maybe some accessories, but that's definitely the easy part. So this dress right here has, again, a really unique texture to it, which I love. It's in this beautiful kind of brown, golden, 
champagne color. I don't even know. All of the above, but it's stunning. Those are all my dresses, but now we'll move into the tops that I got. So starting off with this beautiful off the shoulder moment. I love that it looks so relaxed and just so cool girl vibe. I don't know what other way to describe this, but I feel like this is going to be perfect for those like chilly summer nights. Not that that happens very often here in Austin, but if I go back to Georgia, I could totally bring it. And I don't know, just like lounging around the house with sweatpants on, like that would be such a cute outfit. I think I found my new go-to going out top. Look how freaking stunning this is. It's definitely more like revealing than I usually choose, but I think it's so pretty. The color is everything. The cut on this top is so good and just flattering in general. And if I wanted to dress it up for Italy or just like dinner in general, I think it would look so cute with some linen pants, almost like the slacks that I wear all the time, but those in a linen kind of material, I think that would be so cute and very beachy even though Italy's weather is not gonna be very hot. It's gonna be like very mild. I think Positano is gonna be like up to 60, which is still cold to me. Like I need to bring sweaters. So that's an issue that I need to deal with because I feel like I've packed very summery outfits and I purchased a lot of summery outfits. So now I need to look back and see what sweaters go with what, just to make sure I'm prepared and not cold because when I get cold, I get like so just like irritated because I'm just like I don't want to do anything I just want to like go home and wrap myself in a blanket and obviously I can't just go home if I'm in Positano because I need to explore so I need to definitely be more prepared with that but I think this would look so cute in Italy <laughs> I'm so excited here is the next top and I don't know why it makes me look like a Bratz doll like I feel like everything about the cut it's very flattering cinches in at the waist well, it's a crop top, so I guess it ends at the waist, but you get what I mean. Oh my God, I love it so much. And I feel like the quality on, especially with the long sleeves, because I've actually had a long sleeve from Princess Polly before, the quality on these things are so good. They're so comfortable. I just know this is gonna be a go-to on my trip, especially during the colder days. Really quick, I just threw this over the top that I was wearing, but here is the blazer that I got, which I was so excited about it because it definitely reminds me of something from the 90s, like straight up from the 90s. Not even trying to be with the times today, but it's kind of iconic for that. So I did think it was going to be a little bit baggier on me because I just wanted to like throw it on over and not kind of like make it a whole fit, like almost like use it as a cardigan or a sweater, um, which I still could do. And I think it still looks very like chic, but now I just need to think about how to style it. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions. Last but not least, we have this neutral top, which is kind of similar to the other one. I mean, just like a neutral long sleeve, but also not similar at all because it has like a little collar here and it's a lot more revealing, I would say. There are three hooks right here, so you can kind of decide how much you want to cover or how little you want to cover. I just love how it flares out like this because it kind of gives you that illusion of a really nice like waist, super snatched. And I actually had a similar top saved for this Italy trip. I was trying to like just save inspo and see if I could find it online. And I think it's pretty close, so I'm pretty hyped about it. Since we're done with tops, we can get on to the bottom half of my body. I got one pair of jeans and one pair of shoes, and these are the jeans. I saw them online and I was instantly intrigued because it's kind of like a flared leg at the bottom and a raw hem. I am a sucker for a raw hem. My favorite thing about these jeans are that they are so high-waisted, but sometimes with Princess Polly jeans, I, I have a lot of extra fabric right here in the crotch. It doesn't look horrible most of the times, but I guess it's when my legs are like really together, it kind of like does something weird down there. But other than that, they are really comfortable too. Pretty thin, so if I'm packing them, they're not gonna take up a whole bunch of weight, which is a big plus. I have one more thing to show you guys and that's shoes so I'm gonna put you guys down there but these shoes make me want to literally book a trip to Nashville like yesterday. I just am obsessed with the way they look. I let's let's just get into it. Here they are. I've been wanting white cowgirl boots for so freaking long and I feel like cowboy boots are not going anywhere anytime soon. I also live in Austin, Texas where I feel like it's definitely acceptable to wear them like at all times. And I think these are just so perfect. They're like the perfect 
height. They're also like very lightweight, so it's not like you're wearing anything too heavy on your feet because sometimes cowboy boots can just take a lot of effort to walk in because they're so heavy, but these are not. And I just love where they hit on my knees. I think they're just adorable. So that wraps up my Princess Polly haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have your eye on anything specific and a reminder that everything is linked down below as well as my discount code, which will also be on the screen now so you can save some money. The Instagram feed is about to be popping in Italy as well as the TikTok. So again, go follow me over there. It is so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.